Hello, this is Deep Sky Blue for DIYAllDay.com. Um, we're just working on our custom computer build here today. Uh, this is going to be the first step in the assembly. I, I have here on the desk in front of me a case uh, by Cooler Master. I have some other computer parts laying around here. And what we're going to be working on at the moment is uh, installing uh, both the motherboard into the case and then also the power supply. So the first step, uh, when you, really when you open up the case to, to get everything together, is uh, to install the, uh, they're called standoffs. Uh, they're just uh, little brass screws that have a screw hole in the top. Uh, into the motherboard tray here. Now I've already done that on this case. To get an idea of exactly where to put them, uh, when you look at your motherboard, some of them are set up a little differently, but you can see the screw holes right on it here. And if you uh, just kind of hold it over the tray, you know about where, uh, which holes you're going to be using as far as your motherboard goes. Six uh, will usually do the trick. Sometimes you can get a few more in there, but I usually get, you know, two top, two bottom, two middle. And uh, that'll hold the board in there securely just fine. Before we install the motherboard, we want to get the input-output panel um, put in there. Uh, basically, there's just a, a, a hole uh, right in the back of your case here. Uh, consumer computer parts, I mean, they're completely standardized, but uh, the way that the inputs and outputs are arranged on, on the back of motherboards are not. Uh, so this is the solution that uh, motherboard and case manufacturers have come out with to, to make a case compatible with any motherboard setup. It's just a, a very thin piece of aluminum that presses over this hole here. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you get it in there correctly and you can just look at the uh, input output on the motherboard there uh, to see which way it's going to go in. Uh, it's just a, a snap-on component uh, so it doesn't take a lot of force uh, to get it in there. You'll want to be careful it's just a very thin piece of aluminum. So once that's in there we can uh, we can get the board in. Uh, I usually put it in at an angle here just like this and then uh, line up the input output so they're they're actually pushing through the holes because some of them uh, like your audio panels here for example uh, protrude out of the input output panel there. Uh, now on the input output panel uh, there's little uh, metal pieces that kind of come out that that allow the input outputs on the on the motherboard to uh, press up against it and, and really hold it in here securely so when you set the motherboard in in order to get your screws lined up to the screw holes you have to just apply a little bit of pressure there uh, to get them to line up nice So I'm just going to grab a screw here and get the first one in. Uh, if you do the uh, the top and the bottom, the rest of the screws, uh, uh, the top and the bottom near the rear of the case, the rest of the screws are just, they'll all be lined up and they'll just go in real easy. So let's just get all these screws put in here real quickly. So got the uh, the top and the bottom here in the rear. Uh, now all of them are just completely lined up, so I don't need to hold on and, and put pressure against the board anymore. That'll happen from time to time. Yeah, the uh, the only tool required here, and, and really in most cases, uh, the only tool you need uh, when you're putting together is just a, a regular uh, Phillips screwdriver. 
Occasionally, you know, a, a carpet knife can be handy. I've, I've seen some cheaper cases where uh, certain connectors, uh, they're not the right size. And uh, you need to cut them because they'll, they'll have like a three pin connector when the board takes a two pin, that kind of stuff. But those are, those are rare circumstances. Um, in most cases, for most builds, I mean, this is, uh, this is the only tool that you need and, and most people know how to operate a screwdriver just fine. So that's that. Uh, the motherboard is, is in and installed. Uh, got the input outputs here. They're all lined up real nicely. Next step here in our process, we're going to install the power supply. This is one, I mean, it's, well, it'll fit in here backwards. You'll know if you've got it in wrong because the screws uh, actually won't line up. Uh, once you get it pushed in. Uh, this is just the uh, the mounting here for the power supply. And just uh, push it up against the back there. Flush power supply comes with its own screws. There's, uh, there's four of them. Get those in there. Sometimes, I mean, depending on the quality of the case, usually, I mean, on the nicer cases, everything just lines up great. Uh, sometimes on the cheaper cases, for whatever reason, stuff just doesn't quite fit together as well. Uh, Cooler Master, I mean, they're, they're a good brand, they're inexpensive, they're sturdy. But uh, on this one here in particular, some of them are not lining up here the best. Let's see here. I'm going to try just loosening these here to, uh, to lift it up a little. So uh, pretty simple, uh, just a matter of all we've really done here is uh, screwed in uh, 10 screws here uh, to get the first two components in, so pretty basic. Uh, just look at the setup here, we've, uh, we've got the, the main power supply here, uh, motherboard, uh, and now we're ready to install the drives and, and move on from there. So uh, until next time, this is Deep Sky Blue from DIYAllDay.com